Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-Level Maths. Here we're looking at how we can use vectors in mechanics-based questions so we can answer questions from exercise 12D. So, uh, what we have here is three forces um, and a particle with a mass of 0.5 kilograms. So effectively what we've got is a particle with three different strings attached to it and three forces forces pulling it in three different directions by different amounts of magnitudes. Okay, and what we're asked to do first of all <clears throat> is to find the resultant force R on this particle. Now resultant force, think of the result if you add them up together. So R, resultant, if you see the word resultant in a question, it's quite a posh word, and you may be a little bit um, confused as to what it means. Just think, add your forces together. So adding the forces together here, remember we're going to add the I's together, the J's together, and the K's together. <coughs> Give us 5I minus J minus 3K. So that's the resultant force. Find the acceleration of the particle. Now remember that a formula that links mass and forces together is F equals MA. Now in this case here, M is just going to be a number rather than a vector, the force is going to be a vector, and the A is going to be a vector as well. So in this case here we're going to get 5I minus J minus 3K equals 0.5A, double both sides and you get 10I minus 2J minus 6K equals the acceleration. And then if it says find the magnitude of the acceleration, when you see the word magnitude, just think Pythagoras. Okay, so a Pythagoras um, value on this is 140 meters uh, centimeters, meter per centimeter squared. Okay, so that's the answer to this one here then. Uh, part D, given that a particle starts from rest and finds the find the distance traveled for the first six seconds of its motion. Um, so we can link this all back into SUVAT now, I think. So S-U-V-A-N-T. Um, we know that it starts from rest. We know it has acceleration of square root 140, and we know it travels for six seconds. So what formula links S and this together? We don't need V. Uh, S equals UT plus half AT squared. Substitute it all into the formula and we get 36 root 35 meters. Okay, so that's basically it then. It is just uh, F equals MA, um, resultant forces mean add your vectors together. Um, so here's a question to practice on then. Pause the video and try this one out. Okay then, so in this case um, we're going to have find the acceleration of the body um, with this force that's acting on it, so applying F equals MA here. I've underlined the F and the A just to signal that they are the vectors and M is just the scale factor multiple for. So the force here is going to be 2I minus 5J plus 3K equals 4 lots of A, find the acceleration, so divide through by 4 now and we get a half I minus 5 over 4 J, whoops that's an I, J I mean, uh, plus 3 over 4 K, and this is my acceleration, and that's the answer to part A. Part B is find the magnitude of this, when you hear magnitude just think um, Pythagoras distance, so half squared, add 5 over 4 squared, add 3 over 4 squared. What you could do is you could work out the magnitude of 2i minus 5j plus 3k and divide it by 4. You should get exactly the same answer there, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 2 squared plus 5 squared plus 3 squared. All of that divided by 4. And we get 38 over 4, root 38 over 4, so that's 1.5. 4, so three significant figures, as they've asked for in our answer. And the units on acceleration, remember, is meters per second squared. 
Okay, so there are plenty more questions in exercise 12D for you to have a go at. They involve resultant forces, which means that um, which means that we don't what we, we want to add the forces together. We've got um, particles that are stationary or in equilibrium, which means that all the forces of the resultant force must, must add up to make zero. Um, and forces questions like this, where you've got to um, rearrange um, the F equals MA formula. Okay, so have a go at some of the difficult questions from that one. And we've finished this chapter now. So have a go at the mixed exercise as well and try and pick up some of those difficult questions and try and have a challenge by completing them. Okay, thanks very much for watching.